man that I love the spirit so much. I remember when we were to set up House of Destiny, he was a parish pastor in a place. And I called him to my office and I said, look, I'm withdrawing you from where you are. I want you to go and start a new work for us. Uh, for those of us that are in the work of the ministry, you will know that pioneering work is a very difficult thing to do. Uh, to gather people together from the scratch is always very difficult. Uh, to move from a place where you're already settled, where you are already being appreciated, to a place where you don't even know the people you are going to meet is a very difficult thing. And he said to me, he said, sir, I will go. He said, just promise me that you will support me. And I said to him, you have all the support you will need. And we started looking for a place. We didn't have a place. Because while we were searching for a place, we got this place. And I told them the vision of the House of Destiny. That we want a parish that will become the envy of those that have been before her. And I said to her, go and make that place a place to be. And for those of us uh, that were here when we started, and we are still here, we would appreciate the difference in where we were and what the church has become. Whatever you are seeing here today is to the glory of God and to the effective leadership of Pastor Chijoke and Meneke. And I want us to appreciate him for that. There's something about excellence. Uh, excellence is not something you get from outside. Excellence is something that resides on the inside of you. So when you have a man with an excellent spirit, take him anywhere, he will always produce excellence. And that is what we have seen here. Um, how many of us have paid a visit to where Pastor Chijoke has been transferred to? How many of us, apart from the pastor? How many of us? Okay, you see how much they love you. Praise the Lord. Who else? You've also been there. I'm sure we all know that that place needs our attention. Praise the Lord. I think one of these days we should take a walk to that place and go and see that place and see what we can do uh, to help them. It's like a transition from uh, from where now? When you're moving a man from America and you're moving that man to Nepal. <laughs> Nepal is one of the third world countries, very backward in the country. And when I went there, I felt for him because he was struggling to open the padlock of the church. Struggling to know which key fits 